Right, welcome here, Punch Out Boxing. I am here with Joel Bartel. Uh, wow, so early on in your career, going to headline in an absolute banger of a fight in this uh, TM14 versus Nielsen card. What do you think of your opponent, Jordan? Yeah, no, he's a, he's a good fighter. 7 and 0, good fighter. I've uh, got nothing bad to say about him and his boxing, but um, looking forward to having a good fight. Well, he did have particularly flattering things to say about you. He thinks you're skinny at the weight. Um, I don't know if he's alluding to because you started at 154. Uh, an, an anorexic middleweight, but like realistically, that doesn't matter because he's an anorexic middleweight that's got an engine that can go on for 10 rounds and it's got serious punching power. So, anorexic or not, it don't really matter. Yeah, anyone who knows the sport, there's quite a few big punchers in the history of the sport who were pretty skinny. Uh, so, I don't think muscles mean much. Um, he also sort of believes that he's, his ring pedigree because of his amateur career, he thinks he'll, he'll outthink you in there. Uh, he's of the impression you're a basic pressure fight and that you'll you'll walk onto punches. Oh, look, he, he can think of me as a as a touch and easy fight if he wants, but this isn't the pros. Uh, this isn't the amateurs, this is the pros, right? So you can discard all your amateur fights because they don't matter anymore. We're on about the pros now. And in one year I've had six pro fights. In five he's had seven. Yeah? So realistically I am much more active and He'll see. He'll see on the night all the dimensions I have, and 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 he won't think anymore that I'm a front foot pressure fighter that's going to walk onto something because uh, he'll really have to think on that night. When the fight was proposed to you, um, were you and your team eager to take it straight up? Look, Mark didn't even have to speak to me. He knew I'd say yes, so I was happy taking this. So originally I proposed for a title. They they still say it's for a title, but I'll I'll fight Jordan with or without a title, for the plain fact that I see myself beating him, and I see myself beating him well, so there it is. And but it is well worth fighting because he is the mandatory for the English. Um, win this, then that's it. The, the the learning plates are off. From then on, it's sort of title fight. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think I need any fucking learning wheels, you know. I, I, I'm ready to get going now. That's why I'm stepping up fast. I've had, I've had six fights. I've had fours, I've had sixes, I've had eight rounders. Now I'm moving on to the ten rounder and uh, in all my fights you can see I get better as the rounds go on because I'm a strong anorexic middleweight with an engine so I'm, I'm ready to get going. Uh, his prediction for the fight was he thinks he knocks you out in the middle rounds. What's your prediction? Oh when did you say that? I just spoke to Jordan. Oh nice, nice, nice. Uh, no, I, I predict that I stop him uh, six to ten because first uh, couple rounds we're going to be working it out. I'm going to be boxing. I'm not going to get caught, but because because he's got a lot of weight to lose, he's going to be knackered at that weight. After four rounds, he's going to start tiring and uh, he'll get stopped after the sixth round. I love it. Two fighters are actually uh, giving a good prediction, and uh, yeah, this this fight's going to be a banger. Um, you must be delighted to, as well have that massive uh, exposure on TalkSport. Chance to get your name right up there with all the top middleweights in the country. That's it. No, I'm very excited to get my name out there. I'll, I want to uh, prove myself to be a, a bigger name, a big name in the British boxing public. And so, like you said, this is a fight that allows me to do that. And, and it's a fight on a platform that allows me to do that. TalkSport, all of this. Is that a good uh, good venue? And there's going to be a lot of people there, so a lot of people are going to take notes uh, because he is a decent name in British boxing right now. But um, it's time for time for me to come on and take that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think all of you boys on this show, great opportunities for you to get your name out there. Um, yeah, it's training camp started. Training camp's going to start next week. We're ticking over nice and lightly now, but I. Uh, I don't, I don't need a training camp. As I said, I, I've been fighting for a year. I've had my debut last February, and I've had six fights since then. I fought on Saturday in an eight-round fight. Um, there's no there's no need for me to have a camp. You know, I'm I'm ready to go. I'm fit. Uh, all the all it will be is game plans, sparring, game plans, sparring. That's it. All right, I have no doubt this fight is going to be an absolute banger. So, uh, Joel, good luck for July the 6th. Uh, we look forward to uh, a hell of a night of boxing. Thank you.